Hi, I'm Peter Townley. And I'm Andy Gutierrez. Welcome to the Star Wars Show, the only Star Wars show coming to you straight from a deconstructed red carpet. Deconstructed? We are so thoroughly postmodern. And so thoroughly tired. Let's go to the news. If you religiously watch our channel, and if you're watching this show, I'd say that you probably saw our live stream from the red carpet. And while on the other side of the screen it might look like an effortless production, it actually takes a ton of work and months of preparation to create the 90 minutes of glitz and glamour you saw on StarWars.com. So this week, instead of a normal news segment, because let's face it, the biggest news this week is the release of Rogue One, we decided we would take you behind the scenes to see what it takes to put together a Star Wars red carpet live stream. Enjoy. We are getting Carpool. ready. We're getting ready. Me prize. So this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. What you're seeing right now is uh, John Harper and I going over our schedule. Hey! Mm. Two, move seven, Mike, Q, Anthony, and Andy. How are you guys on the side of the street? Everybody good? Awesome! I need them to hold good solid eyes into the lane. they got a Star Wars happening over there. Okay, everybody hold. We're going to do this one more time. Greg, let me know when the stage is ready. All right, nice. Mark that. It is the day of the live stream. The hosts are making their way up here. We're going to go over everything. Here we go. Andy and Anthony are live on the main stage. And then we go live to Peter and David. Doing your own ironing. Doing my own ironing. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Oh, 30 seconds. Maybe 30 seconds. Live, live. One, 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 Music. Rock and egg. Stand by your hashtag. 15 seconds, everybody. Here we go. Out to camera one. Here we go, guys. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Move seven. It all starts right now oh, here on man. the red carpet. The energy here is absolutely insane. This is exciting. I'm giddy. It's crazy surreal. I cannot believe that this is happening. Oh my god, this is incredible. I am about to cry. It's tough to not be emotional. Everyone's so happy to be here, and that's the thing that's so exciting. We've got stormtroopers, we got TIE pilots, we got rebels. Where the mercs at? We are surrounded by Star Wars creators. Gareth Edwards in his helmet. It's always risky doing high fives because I'm British and I'm really awkward at it. <laughs> The red carpet is open for business. Peter Mayhew, the mighty Chewbacca. Matt Magelson, Alan Tudyk, Felicity Jones, and Diego Luna. Ben Mendelsohn, Donnie Yen, Anthony Daniels. How are you? You guys know Joss Whedon, right? Yeah. What's different about this film? I think we're taking a risk. If we're going to keep Star Wars alive, we have to keep pushing ourselves. This is a really special film because it's very much a very different film. This is a much harder edge Star Wars. It's a brutal thing. It's also just kind of average Joes and Janes that decide they can make a difference. Seeing that everybody in this war is a person. It's the kind of Star Wars movie that I know for myself I've always wanted. I'm sure they're gonna love it. You guys are pretty sure you're gonna love it, right? Yeah! Thank you to all the fans out there for keeping this alive. I wouldn't wish to be anywhere else but here. We're moments away, so I'm not gonna blow anything now. Remember, Rogue One, a Star Wars story in theaters December 16th. We have got to get into this theater. That's a wrap, everybody. Last week, we had the unique pleasure of hanging out with the cast of Rogue One on our set for an informal chat. And some of our eagle-eyed viewers noticed that a few of the cast members had blasters sitting on their laps, and there is a reason for that. We had the prop masters from Pinewood ship the actual hero weapons used in Rogue One to our humble little set, so the actors could give us a rundown of how they work and show us any other little features that only they know from working so closely with them for months. Check it out. The first thing you do when you get to do Star Wars is the props department lay out all the different weapons. And so what you learn is that, like, George didn't have loads of resources, obviously, back then. They grabbed real existing guns and stuff from World War II and just augmented them just a little bit, put little things on, like, one thing on it, and then it belonged to a Stormtrooper. Well, this is the Shore Trooper's weapon, and I'd be careful because on set, when you're just bored and you're hanging around, there's a gun there. You, like, you always pick them up and you can't help but do it. And then it goes... Give me the rundown on how, how this bad boy works, because it's pretty insane. You go first like this. And then you go like this. And then this goes like this. And then becomes a precision rifle. Oh, this takes me back to Pinewood. <laughs> oh, the hours spent with this thing. So she'd have it on her belt, and then she takes it off. 
and then she holds it and then the idea was like she then does that. It's got these little um, air rifle kicks in it so that so, yeah. it would go back because a lot of people can't help but like not do that they get carried away and you don't really get the kick and also it's trying to stop people from going when they fire it if it's actually making noise. Whoa! So let me show you, I'll show you how it works. Yeah, give me the demo. Okay, we'll so that. this is an old school blaster. It's really a three shot. So you pull this back, mm -hmm. right, and it engages, and then you pull the, the trigger of it, and this has got a good action to it. So mm -hmm. this cartridge will just fly out. Mm -hmm. You've got to get that out. You get your new one, which is three shots. And then these pack a huge wallop. That is the thing with them. And then you get it in there. Flap it down, boom, and you re-engage it. Nice. Like that, three shot, boom, boom, boom. Did you ever get carried away blasting stormtroopers? There's one take uh, when they, they come to me and they say, can you stop doing pew, pew? I go, Am I doing that on take? And they were like, yeah. I was just like a kid playing, like pew, pew. I didn't realize I was doing the sound and everything. Finally, I'm reunited with my blaster. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Uh, that was cool, guys. That was cool. <laughs> you guys stole it from me. <laughs> we are exhausted, and they're taking down the rebel base as we speak, so we should probably get out of here before someone starts asking where the plans are. Possibly. Yeah. But before we go, it wouldn't be an episode of the Star Wars show without reminding you to check out the Star Wars After Show presented by Verizon, where my esteemed panel of Lucasfilm employees and I dish about what went down on this week's The Star Wars Show. Which this week is going to be all about what happened what? at the red carpet. Check it out this Thursday and every Thursday on YouTube.com slash Verizon. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you. I don't want to leave. Let's just not leave. Yeah, let's just let's just start our own rebel base right yeah. here. I rebel. Let's rebel. Me too. I'm rebelling. We're I'm in. First day. I'm in. I'm in.